I'm Dr. John M. Robertson, the Director of Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgery here at Providence St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica, California. As the Director of the Department, I'm responsible for the activities of the Department, the open heart surgeries, the management of post-operative care, the care of patients in the operating room, and the surrounding environment. The easiest way to explain why fluid management is important is to understand the pumping mechanism of the human heart. The heart and circulatory system is a hydraulic system. The heart is the main pump. If it's overfilled, it will fail and the delivery of blood to the cells becomes inadequate. If it's underfilled, it will also fail and the delivery of oxygen and blood to the cells will also be inadequate. So for fluid management to be optimal, you want to have the heart filled to the ideal volume. That's what fluid management gives you. Cardiac output management today requires more invasive technology. Uh, patients usually require catheters placed in their circulatory system so they can actually measure or, or indirectly measure the flow of blood out of the heart and therefore delivery of oxygen to the cells. So it's invasive and it has complications associated with it. Infection at the puncture sites, perforation of organs which can cause bleeding, um, arrhythmias, all sorts of problems can be associated with catheters that pass through the heart like the Swan-Ganz catheter for the measurement of cardiac output and therefore cardiac index and all the other parameters that are associated with it. So this is an invasive technique. The less invasive technique, i.e. the NICOM, requires no invasion into the body, it basically uh, requires uh, four patches placed in the person's chest and then through electronic manipulation based on some basic physical principles, they're able to calculate cardiac output indirectly. Therefore, there's less harm to the patient. It's immediately uh, uh, available. You can apply it on almost all patients anywhere as opposed to a patient that has to be in an ICU requiring a doctor to put a catheter in. The non-invasive technologies can be applied by a nurse and the information is rapidly obtainable. It's the key to uh, caring for critically ill patients. As they see that the new technology provides accuracy in uh, uh, diagnostic abilities and at the same time um, becomes easier to use with less, less risk to a patient, more and more people are going to use it. Eventually, I think it will become the standard that uh, most centers and most uh, institutions that take care of uh, critically ill patients will want to use uh, fluid management as a primary guideline whenever a patient comes into the hospital. Cheetah is the company name. NICOM stands for Non-Invasive Cardiac Output Monitoring. So it's a technology that has been developed by the Cheetah Corporation uh, to determine cardiac output or flow of blood out of the heart by using non-invasive um, technology, which means you apply four patches to the person's chest, hook it up to the machine, and the machine can then calculate cardiac output as, a po as opposed to the typical place a catheter in the person's neck or in the groin and thread a catheter through the heart to measure the uh, flow of blood um, directly. Many other patients that don't have their chests open and require big time operations or patients that have had surgery where all the catheters are removed and now something changes and you need to find out where they're really at it's easy to place the cheetah NICOM on the person and get that information. I can place it in the emergency room. I can place it in the clinic. I can place it in a patient's room. Swan-Ganz catheter, you can't do that. We have in other surgeries where a patient's saying having a, a hernia operation and something goes bad wrong, the blood pressure's dropping, you can quickly place the NICOM on somebody and get your information right away. The alternative would be to place a transesophageal echocardiographic probe down the esophagus and look at the heart directly, but you won't get the cardiac output and the other numbers, but you will get heart performance. So that's again invasive, but the cheetah can give you uh, information very quickly. I mean, I have been in the ICU where um, I've, another physician's patient's not doing well, they don't know where they're at, and I say, well, let's just put the NICOM on the unit, patient, on, on the patient, and let's see what the numbers are. Immediately you'll see that the cardiac output is sky high, the SVR is very low, uh, the patient has a fever. Well, that's a picture of sepsis, and you can pick that up very quickly. Or if a patient uh, comes in, their blood pressure is low, you can't figure out why they're not doing well, 
You put the device on, you see the cardiac output's really low, the total fluid status of the patient's low, and you recognize they've got a dilated abdomen, they may be bleeding, in which case they're hypovolemic, and the device leads you right to that. You can quickly give them volume, fill them up, watch their cardiac output increase, and you've got the diagnosis. When the human body gets infected, the cardiac output changes. When you have bleeding somewhere, or fluid shifts from, say, pancreatitis, preload drops, cardiac output's affected. Uh, if you have a heart attack and your heart's failing, or you over-transfuse somebody and there's too much volume, you throw the heart into heart failure, cardiac outputs drops, filling pressures go up. These are all things that help you know exactly where you are. So you don't have to have an open heart surgery procedure to, to need to know where your optimal fluid management is. So you have a patient in the ICU that comes in off the street who's hypotensive, has a low grade fever, and you can't quite figure out what's going on. You can place a NICOM on the, a NICOM on the patient and what do you find in this particular scenario? You'll find that the cardiac output is really very high, but the SVR, or systemic vascular resistance, is very low. With a temperature of 103, you've got almost your diagnosis as sepsis, and you can start treating for sepsis with appropriate antibiotics and inotropic support of the heart, as opposed to a patient that comes in who's got a distended abdomen, or say a young woman comes into the emergency room who has a, a distended abdomen, and a low blood pressure. Uh, you can get ultrasound, see fluid in her belly. You can put the NICOM on and see her cardiac output's very low. Be and you realize the problem is she's bleeding, she may have an ectopic pregnancy, and her volume status is down. You can then quickly fill her up with blood or volume expanders, watch the cardiac output get go back up, knowing your diagnosis is correct, while you're taking the patient to the operating room uh, to treat the ectopic pregnancy at the same time you optimize her care. So any specialty can optimize care if they understand the basic hemodynamics. Almost all conditions of the human body, when a person gets sick and dies, almost always the cause of death is a failure of the heart. It stops. So before you get into terminal phases of diseases, the cardiovascular system usually plays an important part in their demise. So by optimizing the cardiovascular system, you can rectify many of these conditions. The advantage of using the Cheetah device is, in, on one hand, physicians using the old technology of just giving fluid or not giving fluid, they're guessing of what the patient needs, as opposed to putting the Cheetah on, knowing exactly where you are in a fluid state, and then treating that precisely. So it's knowing versus not knowing, guessing versus being if you're in an ICU, you can be invasive, but many sick patients are not in ICUs. So you need to be able to have a device which is easily applied by a nurse in an area such as a clinic or a dialysis area without a physician input, safe to the patient, and provide you with accurate information that you can use to treat the patient. The nurse can then call the, over the phone, give doctors information on the hemodynamics or fluid status. The physician can therefore uh, respond with appropriate orders to correct the abnormal situation. You can use the Cheetah Nikon in areas such as a dialysis unit where there's tremendous fluid shifts and you want to know where the patient or how the patient's doing, you can place the device on them and get first-hand information almost immediately. Again, without a doctor putting anything on the patient, a nurse can do it. The response is within 30 seconds, you usually get the information in real time as opposed to a swan, which can lag several minutes behind the actual data. The Im most important benefit of the Cheetah Nikon over conventional technology is the ease at which it can be applied to the body. It's not invasive. It doesn't require a physician. It can be used in areas outside an ICU. It could be used anywhere in a clinic, in your office. Um, its results are real time uh, and um, the complication rate associated with using it is exceptionally low compared to invasive technology. Also, there are other non-invasive technologies out there using bioimpedance versus um, bioreactants, which is what the cheetah uses. The problem with those devices are they're dependent on exact positioning of the, of the electrodes, the body habitus of the patient, whether the patient's sweaty and wet, um, they have a very um, low 
uh, signal to noise ratio, while the cheetah has a very high signal to noise ratio, so that it's not interfered with like the other devices. So it's much more accurate than the other non-invasive technologies. I don't think the other non-invasive technologies uh, are as, as good from my perspective as the cheetah is. From our own personal uh, research here, the comparison between the invasive swan gans catheter and the cheetah are very, very similar. I have total faith in the results I get from the device. It's very important for effective fluid management to have devices such as the Cheetah Nikon, which is readily available, easily applied, very accurate, and extremely safe.